This is a video demonstrating binary transfers between the PC running Windows using Realterm and the Z80 computer with the serial interface. Here's the Realterm program window and we'll set the display to ANSI. The port is going to be COM1, the baud rate 9600, no parity, 8 data bits, 1 stop bit. We also need to change the display to 24 rows. And now we're ready to take the Z80 out of reset. And you see the monitor greeting message and the command prompt. With Realterm, you have to click in the window in order for Realterm to send data from the keyboard to the Z80. To demonstrate binary transfer, we need to make a binary file. So I've written a short assembly language program to create a binary file program to transfer. Uh, as is customary with uh, any new system or programming setup, we will create a Hello World program. If you saw the um, demonstration video number three, we wrote the same program uh, to be assembled by the Z80 ASM program. Here in Windows, we're going to assemble with the TASM program. This is the Telemark assembler and not the Borland Turbo assembler. They both have the same um, name of the, uh, their executive file, TASM. However, this is the Telemark Z80 assembler. The assembler, the TASM assembler, has some differences from the Z80 assembler with respect to the assembler directives. Um, it uh, requires a leading uh, period for the assembler directives. And the assembler directive that defines the string with the Z80 ASM program is uh, defined message, DAFM, that doesn't exist in the uh, TASM assembly assembler. Instead, it uses the byte directive. It also requires an end directive at the end of the assembly language. So it's the same program that we made before. Uh, we load the HL register with the address of the string that we want to display and call the write string subroutine from the 2K ROM. Um, and after this returns, jump to the monitor warm start address to get back to the monitor. And we have to inform the assembler of the addresses of the write string subroutine and the monitor warm start address. Uh, we write this and save it as hello.asm. The TASM assembler likes short file names, no more than eight characters. So we have to uh, limit what we do with the file names. And this has been saved to my uh, Z80 slash TASM directory. To assemble this file, we use the TAS TASM um, program from the command line, so we open the run window. This is the command. The executable we use in Windows XP is TASMP for um, protected mode, which is how the Windows uh, XP is running. The minus 80 in the command line tells the assembler we're assembling Z80 code. This assembler can assemble a wide variety of assembly languages. The B instruction tells it to create a binary output file instead of a hexadecimal character output file. And then finally we give it the name of the assembly language file that we created. After we click OK, a window opens up uh, coming from the TASM assembler and shows that we assembled this file correctly without any syntax errors. After we finish the assembly, we look in the TASM directory 
and you can see the assembly language file, a list file, and an object file. This is the binary code that the assembler created. If you hover over this, you can see that its size is 25 bytes. This is the file that will transfer to the Z80. Now we're back at the real term window and we will use the bload command to receive the binary file and we'll place it at the beginning of RAM 0800. The file we already know is 25 bytes long. This says that the Z80 is ready to receive the file and so now unlike uh, Minicom in the Linux system Realterm has um, commands that allow us to send binary files across the serial interface. So we will use the send tab and uh, put in the uh, pathway to the file that we want to transfer. And uh, we will click send file. Um, the message done comes up and if we look in the terminal window we see that we're back at the command prompt indicating that the Z80 was happy with the transfer. Now if we want to look at memory to verify that the program is there we can use the dump command and here we see what looks like the program file in the memory at the proper place. Now if we run the program you see that it runs correctly and prints out the hello world message. Now I can demonstrate um, sending a binary file from the Z80 to the PC. Um, let's say we want to modify this program and uh, we're unhappy with the exclamation point and we're not so confident about the state of the world so we'd like to change this to a question mark. Um, so the program dump shows that the code for the exclamation point is here in memory location 0817. We can use the load command to um, change that to a question mark. Uh, we'll enter the ASCII uh, code for question mark which is 3F. Now if we run the program again, you can see that it now puts a question mark at the end instead of an exclamation point. Now if we like this program and we want to save it on our PC, we can tell the Z80 to send it to the PC and it's up to the PC to capture it and put it into a file. So for this we use the bdump command and we will start at 0800. Now I've just by experience I've found that Realterm likes to receive files in multiples of 16 bytes so in order to catch this 25 byte long program I'll have to transfer 32 bytes. So now the Z80 is ready to send the file and if we hit a key it will send it across the serial port. So we have to get the Realterm program ready to capture the file. So we go to the capture um, tab now we'll capture the file uh, to the Z80 director and Z80 TSM directory and we'll give it a different name as the original file. Let's say hello2.obj because it's going to be a binary file. And we will transfer 32 bytes. Um, and now we're ready to go. So we click on the start overwrite button. Uh, the display turns red indicating that it's ready to receive the file. So we return to the terminal display window and hit any key, we'll hit return. The uh, display window returns to the monitor uh, command line byte indicating that the Z80 was happy with this. And we can check with uh, the uh, directory of TASM to see if the file is indeed there. 
So here checking the directory we see that the hello2 uh, binary file is present and its size is 32 bytes. So we know the transfer went correctly. This concludes the demonstration of doing binary file transfers between the PC and the Z80 computer through the serial interface. Thanks.